It is a beautiful day. I'm literally sitting by the window trying to just soak up some sun, some vitamin D. I think that it works through the window if you sit here long enough. Um, welcome back to another vlog. I am so excited to have you here. If you're new, I'm Mary. Welcome to my vlog. I do a lot of different things on YouTube. I answer your questions. I share my journey as an entrepreneur. Uh, I really just wanted to create a space here on the internet for just like transparency of what life can look like. And you know, we see a lot of glamorization on the internet of people living their best life, which as we all want to be doing, but the reality is sometimes life can be boring and that can still be your best life, but it's just not that exciting or it doesn't look that good in a YouTube vlog. And I think it's okay. I think there's so much beauty and simplicity of every day and I'm hopefully gonna show you that too. So I'm gonna take you to the weekend with me. It's Friday. Uh, I actually had the flu earlier this week. So I was planning on vlogging like a normal week as per usual, but the first two and a half, almost three days of the week, I was in bed, unwell, feverish, achy, and just like not really, not really up for being on camera and or had nothing like good to say because I just really didn't feel well. But I'm feeling much better. I'm basically back to myself. I would say that there's still a couple like lingering things. My sinuses are still a bit stuffed up. I, you probably can't tell because I know I have a deep voice already. Um, but I'm feeling better. I went out for a walk yesterday, which was my first walk in over a week because it's been raining in LA and it did snow in Northern Los Angeles, not where I am it did hail, but there's snow on the mountains. I can literally, I can see the mountains right now. Um, so I finally had a walk yesterday, which was so nice. And I'm gonna go for a walk today. I already know that's in my schedule, it's in my calendar. Um, I was already working this morning, started my day with a call with one of my mentors who is actually one of my friends, it's her stepdad. And I met him when I was still a student at Ryerson or Toronto Metropolitan University, whatever it's called, TMU. And he has been such a huge support for me growing a business. He is an entrepreneur himself. Well, he's semi retired entrepreneur now, but he has given me so much support and guidance. And honestly, a 30 minute call with him was just like a breath of fresh air because he's just so supportive and understanding of being an entrepreneur. So that was a great way to start the day. I have my my to-do list that I'm working on to get through. I have some recordings I have to do today and there's a new podcast that we're launching at Mary Young, which, you know, I feel like all I wanna do these days is just talk. I'm talking on YouTube, I'm talking on This Could Work. I'm gonna talk on the Self Love Club podcast from Mary Young, which is launching literally in a couple days. So I think when this video is out, the podcast will have launched. So I'll definitely tag it um, below so you can hopefully listen into that one. It's gonna be more digestible. It's gonna be shorter than this could work. And I think it's gonna be really special. I, I'm really excited. This is something I've actually wanted to do for the Self Love Club at Mary Young for quite some time. And um, I think I can be my own worst critic and not like get things done and hold myself back. So I'm doing it. So join me this weekend. It's, you know, I have no major plans, so who knows what's gonna happen. It might be exciting, it might be pretty wholesome, it might be me and my sweatpants, a whole sweatsuit all weekend. I don't know, we'll find out, but come along for the ride. my work recording corner it uh, is really actually not the best place because the windows right here and so there's traffic but this time of day it's not loud traffic because it's moving so slowly as long as no one honks we're okay um, I'm actually gonna record here today though I do plan on setting up my podcast recording in Michael's office so that it can be better for sound because again with the windows it's not great but he's working in there right now, so we need to build a schedule. As you can see, I have my red light on. I have a migraine. Isn't it fun? Um, yeah, 
Friday afternoon migraine came in hot, but I'm going to record our first episode of the Self Love Club podcast. I'm I'm actually like nervous. This is so weird, but I'm going to record those now. I'm going to do like an intro episode and then the like first episode and make sure that I already have I've had the notes written out. I just have been a bit anxious and I've been kind of procrastinating recording it. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to record it and it's going to go out. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be beautiful. So that's going to go up. Um, you'll be able to listen to it when this is out, which is amazing. So I'm going to do that now. And then I think I'm going to like take a little break. I do have, of course, a few more tasks that I want to complete today, but I might do them from the couch this evening just to give myself and my head a little break. So hopefully this red light helps my migraine. I don't know. I know like red light is like the thing to do before you go to bed. I think it just feels nice. It's like a different vibe. So maybe it's just like a placebo effect for me. We'll see, but let's get to recording. Hello and welcome to the Self Love Club podcast from Mary Young. tired I stayed up working later than I anticipated last night which happens here and there uh, I was just diving into a variety of different things and I just like couldn't stop I don't know lately I've been finding working at night helps because no no one's like messaging me or emailing me and I'm not having to like respond to other people I can actually just do what I need to do but that means I went to bed really late and I got up and I've been doing some stuff this morning and now I need to eat. I'm literally starving. I get so hungry in the morning. Like I, I am not, I'm not a person that can like eat hours after waking up. Like I'm about to pass out. So I have water boiling. I'm going to do a poached egg on avocado toast with some chili flakes. And then Michael and I are going to go to a kind of like an antique vintage furniture warehouse sale that uh, we found on Instagram. So we're gonna go to that. I was supposed to meet a friend for coffee, but because of my working late and my working today that I still have to do, it just didn't feel like it was the right decision for me. And I'm really learning to listen to what's right for me and putting those boundaries out there. So it's hard, but sometimes it has to be done. You know, you gotta, you gotta prioritize your health, your happiness productivity, all that good stuff. And when I spend time with people, I want to show up like 100% as my best self, bring the best energy. I don't want to come like half-assed. So all good. It's going to be a relatively chill day, but I am excited for this um, sale and see if we can find anything good for the home. We only need a couple things like side tables. So we're not really like on the hunt for anything major, but it'll be nice to just browse and get out. But first, I need breakfast. I think I might make a coffee too because this girl's tired and I still have a migraine and it's kind of gray and gloomy. There is like parts of a blue sky, but I don't know if it's coming, so we'll see. Is it an antique vintage sale? Something like that. Something like that. Slicked my hair back today because it's hair wash day. So, you know, slick it back before I wash it later. Are you excited? Curious, that's like for sure. Michael's already had a really good morning because he went for a run while I got ready. I had a shower, did my, did my hair and makeup. And as you saw, I made a coffee. I'm hoping that the coffee will help me 
wake up now that we are leaving the house. It says it's 16 degrees out, but I don't think it is. I think it's, I think it's cooler. And see what this warehouse sale has to offer. You found something? Two things. How cute. Nice one. This is too big. So how did you feel about your experience here at the uh, at the sale? At the sale, it yeah. Was good. It was good. There was a lot of great things. A lot of things had already been sold. So if you really are serious, you got to show up at the opening, which I think was 10 a.m., which we did not. But we got these cute little bowls. Yay! Thank you. You're welcome. My favorite snack. Just finished wrapping up work, and it's been a really productive day. I'm actually pretty proud of myself for sitting down and sticking with it. I washed my hair, it's air drying. I know I've mentioned this before, but my new favorite shampoo is from the Earthling Co. It's the shampoo bar and conditioner bar, and I swear by this. I waited, I'm not gonna lie, 12 days to wash my hair because when I was sick, I didn't wanna wash my hair this week when I had the flu because I didn't wanna get, or to have like more of a chill. I was freezing cold the whole time that I had the flu and I've still been a little chilly. So I finally washed my hair. I need to dry it before I go to sleep. And we have been catching up on Love Island, which has been delightful because it's good drama. It's, uh, it's great. I have my Olipop root beer, which is, Truly my favorite, I love it. But we're going to relax. I'm excited to not wake up to an alarm. I woke up really early this morning, as I mentioned, so hopefully tomorrow, not as early. So I didn't dry my hair last night. This is, this is its natural, I don't know, state. I mean, it's, I know you're not supposed to sleep with your hair wet. It's still wet, like in here is still wet. So I'm contemplating maybe I will like style it after, like I'll spritz it with some water and then actually like blow dry and style it because I don't know how this is gonna work for the week. But in the meantime, we're just gonna do this giant, giant bun. Does that, this does not. I have so much hair. Like there's so much that it cuts out of the camera. I don't know, it's centered above my head, which it kind of needs to be because I have really bad neck problems from how much hair this is. But like, look at this. I'm like four inches taller. I look like a who from Whoville. All right, as you know, it's breakfast time because this girl has got to eat. So I think I'm just gonna make a really nice like breakfast sandwich with bacon because it's Sunday. And I deserve a little, little extra something and not just like a boring breakfast that I normally make during the week. This is just too much. I'm gonna have to fix this soon because it's insane. But it's breakfast time. I made this lovely like breakfast sandwich, a little extra bacon. There's avocado, onion, mustard, mayo, egg. I usually would add in tomato and lettuce, but we're out of veg, so that's what it is today. But I'm excited to have a filling breakfast and then I'm probably gonna make a coffee and do something with this because it's time to look presentable. And also it'll just help me for the rest of the week if I style my hair today. Then it's basically styled and I can just touch it up as the week goes. Okay, right, I'm gonna do my hair. I'm actually gonna use my Dyson Airwrap, but I just need to like understand why this is the size of all my Dyson products. Like it's actually, I should, I should probably use this to do some curls because it's heavy. I keep this in the closet because I obviously don't use it that often, but I do actually have to clean my Dyson Airwrap. So I was listening to, I think a podcast, couldn't tell you where, when, who, but I was listening to a podcast about cleaning your Dyson Airwrap if you're noticing that it's not like, suctioning your hair much and I this you'll see as I do my hair it takes a long time and I realized the last time I did it it wasn't suctioning my hair and I just thought it wasn't like damp enough or whatever but I realized no I've literally never cleaned it so I'm gonna clean it and then do my hair so I've got my beauty kit 
to get get things going and i also i made a coffee and as i, I did yesterday this is my to-go mug i got this from canada goose a couple of years ago it's like one of my favorite mugs i'm not gonna lie um and i'm not going anywhere but i put it in here because i don't drink my coffee fast enough this is a hack that one of my friends olivia taught me is why constantly like warm up your coffee at home so it doesn't taste good when you could just put it in a travel mug and just drink that at home so there's there's a hot tip for you believe what you see on Instagram this this is how I would look <laughs> I literally just swallowed a chunk of hair this is how I would look if I didn't do anything to my hair if I just let my hair dry and then I brushed it this would be me this is insane this is absolutely insane also why is my forehead so big is my hairline receding oh no because I love you I'm showing you this 10 years ago probably even three years ago i would never imagine putting this look out for the public to see especially on the internet but let's style it let's get it better okay my battery died but this is the hair i'm doing something different don't don't worry about this, my my side bangs have grown out to the length of my face. I am seeing my hairdresser in like two weeks, so. Um, but I'm doing like a bit of a, a millennial side part. I just wanna see, I used to do a side part a lot and I think I just need to switch up my part because my middle part is getting a little bit fragile. Um, but yeah, this is, this is the hair all all waved as you can see around my face some of these pieces i need to go in with a curling iron because my little like weird curls i can't use the dyson on those so i'm going to go in with the curling iron around my face and this to see what i can do because this is not this is not working so let's see what happens okay i don't know <laughs> oh i'm full of regret i don't know if i like this like this i think it's because i have so much hair and you can't see my face um we'll we'll play with it today we'll see i feel like i'll just end up tucking this ear to give like this side of my face like light but it's not like the worst i think also maybe because i'm not wearing makeup it just feels really weird okay but the last thing i'm gonna do with my hair now that it's done is put in my oil this is like this is what makes it the best. This is called Heritage, literally spelled like hair. Um, it is literally the best. It is like free of all, all the things you don't want to put in your hair. Uh, it's extremely affordable. I think you can buy it. I'll find where it is. I'll just link it below, but you can, it's not like gonna be those Sephora brands where you have to like rationalize spending it. So I just like slather my hands and then I just rub all the way through my hair, I try to get along the tops because that's where all the like flyaways are around my face, get in, in all the good stuff. Definitely at the tips because we know that they're dry because I haven't had a cut in months. So if we do the, the tuck, this, and then it's like, it's cute. Maybe I'll just put a little bit of makeup on today so I don't feel like I'm ready for prom, but looking like I'm going to bed. So let's do, let's do like a base makeup and then do some other things that I need to get done today. Still not sure. We'll see later this week if I decide to switch it up. But with having a little bit more makeup on, I'm actually not doing like a full face. It's just like a little bit and we'll go with it. We'll go with it today. That took like an hour. Doing my hair takes so long. I have so much of it. I'm trying to decide, should I grow my hair longer or should I cut it? I don't know. What should I do with my hair? Help me decide. If you know, if you, if you know, if you know exactly what I should do with my hair, if you have ideas of cute hairstyles or trends and I'm not doing the Hailey Bieber like short thing, I've done it so many times, it does not work when you have this much hair. Um, but if you have other like hairstyle ideas you think might look good on me, please put it below. I'm 
Look at that. You love it? Dinner. What do you think? Hold on, I didn't put on the finishing touch. Yes, chef. Yes. Said Michael's an angel and made dinner for us. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. Can't see it, can you? There it is. Beautiful. Beautiful. Cozy dinner on the couch because we're grown ups and we can decide where we eat. But we'll put something on while we have dinner and enjoy the evening together. All right, I am getting ready for bed. I'm doing a good job this uh, Sunday because I have prepped a bit for Monday. I think I've mentioned this before in some of my previous vlogs about just like time management and blocking uh, your day, like actually doing like time blocks. So what I try to do through the week, I do this actually like every night is I go over my calendar for the next day and do any new time blocking that I need to do. And I write out my to-do list and then my top three non-negotiables. But I also do that on Sunday. I know a lot of people talk about doing it on Friday so that you're ready for Monday. But for me, I just like, I need to do it the night before. Maybe I'll get to it at one, day, one point in my life where I can do it on Friday night and wait until Monday. So I did all of that. I know what work I have to do tomorrow, what my high priority tasks are, what meetings I have, what home things I want to do. So I also add on my to-do list, like if I plan on cleaning, what areas I want to clean, if I have to get groceries, things like that. So I did all of that and I feel good. I just did my skincare. I hope I look like a little bit of a, a dewy donut. I'm using the, it's the, I think it's a Tatcha night like rice moisturizer i'll link it below but it was a splurge i bought it a little while ago i think i talked about it in a vlog probably two or three months ago now now that i think about it because i've had the container for a while and there's still a good amount left and my skin feels like still moisturized in the morning when i wake up so i think that's good but what i'm trying to do tonight this is going to be the first time i'm going to do this i'm going to leave my phone in another room while i sleep so i don't waste time on, I honestly don't even go on TikTok before bed. I actually play Sudoku on my phone before bed. So I'm gonna leave my phone in another room to not do that. I have my um, Apple watch, so I just will use the alarm on that. And then that'll sort of be how I wake up in the morning. I also have like my sunrise alarm. So I, I will get up by the time that I need, but I'm currently reading, I'm almost done this book called Wintering. I think I, th I saw it on a list of like top books from 2022. I think it was a New York Times article and it wasn't, it was like all different categories and I wanted to read outside of my category. I wouldn't really know what genre of book this is, but it's pretty good. It talks about like the wintering season in your life and how it mimics like winter in real life and the like freezing of the ground before it can thaw and seeds can grow and things like that. So it, it is a pretty interesting book. It's not like a fun read. I'm not like running it down a mystery path. Um, so that, that I'm almost done and I'm going to start. This book is called Cashing Out. This is a book that Michael suggested I read. It's Win the Wealth Game by Walking Away. I'm not really sure what I'm walking away from, but that is a book that I really want to read because it really inspired Michael and it's about um, a couple and working on their finances and just you know planning for their future so that's definitely something I want to read and I'm gonna leave my phone out I'm gonna get into bed and hopefully get eight hours of sleep so thanks for taking along this pretty low-key weekend I did a lot of like home things and relaxed which was really nice and I feel good for Monday. I don't have any of those Sunday scaries and that's like the first time in a long time. So I'm really thankful for that. If you haven't subscribed, you should subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Mary Aforiata. Bye everyone. <laughs>